now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Wow, it goes wild. Listen, folks, today is the day. It's a big day. Big day. Bigger than most. Ooh. Special guest in studio, <laughs> celebrity <laughs> guest. If you've been around DFW Real Estate Weekly, this fine show, some think otherwise, uh, for any period of time, you have heard us talk about the glory that is Republic Title. Why? Oh, Why, So Ian? good. Because a bad title company can ruin and destroy a contract. Listen. It gets so bad. Clearly, we're exaggerating because nobody cares about a title company this much. No, I do. But why Real. Why would we do it? We would do it because we've had such nightmare situations with what we can affectionately refer to as cruddy title companies. Oh, we've had, I mean, we had it recently where even though we had a specific fee on a document and it was written as I sent it to them in an email, it was still missed. That was last week. I like it when they undercharge a client and then they call later and go, oh, you've lived there for three weeks now, but you owe us a bunch of money that yeah. has nothing to do with your house. That's always so, so frustrating. It's always great when it's out of You know who doesn't do that? Um, Republic Title. That's the one. God. If only someone who worked there would join us on this show and talk to people about the complexity of title, yet the beauty of getting it right. It's hard to get rock stars to be able to go into the public and face the people that they love to serve. That love them. That's the weird part. It's like, you know, you use the term rock star and they have their groupies and their fans. Sometimes the best people want to live in the shadows, Todd. Gosh. RepublicTitle.com is where you can go and get more information. You can call them at 972-423-8777. You can go to yeah. TodTremontyTeam.com, click the radio tab where you can find all of our recommended pros and vendors. And I just have one yeah. question to ask. Christina. Go ahead. go ahead. Do you enjoy working at Republic Title? I love it. There we go. That's right, folks. What a debut. The Dubry. The Dubry. Uh, Christina is our favorite title person on the planet and has Christina and I have worked together directly or indirectly, uh, with a public title for how long? See, this is the part where we get her to say more on the air than she originally agreed to. It's been about 17 years. 17, 17, long time. 17, two T's there. 17 years starting in the old Lake Highlands days. That's right. There was some Lakewood connections. Now we got the Richardson thing happening. Listen, we're not exaggerating. We're having a little fun with Christina because she doesn't like putting the microphone in front of her face. It's not about her, folks, but... And I only said we'd ask one question and Todd already broke the rule and then asked another one. Because it's my show. That's Here's fine. the thing, though. If you get title wrong, you will regret it for a long, long time. When you get it right, you really won't notice. And that's a good thing. Your real estate agents, the title reps, the escrow agents, all the things that happen in the background will go smoothly and you won't notice it. You won't walk out being like, oh my gosh, title was the most fun part. You'll It will blend into the background. Now the people there will be memorable and fun, but the process will not be in the way. It will go well, you'll be protected and you'll uh, it will go smoothly. That's what happens at Republic Title. True or false, Christina? That's the truth, Todd. Look, I think you nailed it. We'd love to have you back sometime. <laughs> I mean, brilliant. Appreciate you. Thank thanks you for, for everything. Thanks for being here. I yeah. love you guys. Solid yeah. contribution. That's what it looks like, folks. It was a walk Let's off. Oh, well Nailed done. it. Nailed it. Hey, All do you right. want to talk about two year flips? I do. But before we do that, I want folks that are listening to know if you have a question or a comment, send them to us. 214 310 0008. 214 310 zero 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 eight or online like my son says dodgermoneyteam.com so you wrote a book uh, a few years ago now uh, you can find it on amazon what year did i write that. that book courtney i really don't remember it's been a while you can find it on amazon for like three dollars no 2010 2010 6.99 13 years ago. Wow. 6.99. That's it's called Live Free, the art of the two-year flip. How to generate enough tax-free profit to cover your basic living expenses by investing in your own home. It's true. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about like, <clears throat> I think, th I mean, there's several people that have been doing this. Uh, I've you've had done hundreds of clients times. over the years. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, 
it's a pretty popular way. And the reason that it's the two year piece of it is because that's where the cutoff comes for having to pay capital long term, uh, short term capital gains tax, right? So people get to don't have to pay the tax on the profit that they have made between the time that they bought it and the time that they sell it. So what are some of the, the key things that you've learned along the way? Um, and, and what are some of the, maybe some of the mistakes that you've made as well? Yeah, so the, the short and sweet of it is the tax code in the United States of America incentivizes you owning a home. Now, everyone doesn't do that, but there are benefits, tax benefits to owning a home because home ownership drives um, economic activity. It's good for the country. That's at least the opinion of um, the folks who write and, and maintain the tax code. So because of that, if you live in a home, meaning live in it, like it's your primary residence, your homestead for at least two years, then a single person can sell that home with up to $250,000 of profit of gains and pay zero taxes on that. A married couple can earn up to $500,000 of profit and pay zero gains, uh, pay zero taxes on those gains. I don't know of any other legal, reasonably approachable way that you could make that kind of money and not pay taxes. It is a massive, massive benefit that often people don't fully understand. They're told things like, you have to roll those profits back into another property. That is not true. That is not what the tax code states. You can spend it all on baseball cards and bubble gum if you want. You can do whatever you want with it. What my wife and I did to answer the other part of your question is we did this several times, leapfrogging forward, able to buy bigger or nicer homes or homes in areas we wanted to be in without really coming out of pocket a lot more because we would buy a home, completely remodel it, enjoy living in a remodeled home, sell it every two years or more, and roll the profit into the next one. Not required, but we did that each time. Okay, so on that, is it, did you find it best, maybe you only did it one way, but I can see that there's two routes to kind of doing this, right? It's like buy the home, flip it as soon as you can possibly flip it, so it's nice. We did that the live first in time. It, live in it longer, you know, you live in it for the two years and enjoy most of that two years. Yep. Or you can get into it and slowly over the two years do it. Was the one that you liked better than yes. the other? Yes, and the book encourages one more than the other. And the, the one that we prefer is doing the bulk of the work before you ever move in. And the reason is that's, you get to enjoy the work. Now the other version of course is buy it and do a project every weekend for two years and then make some money it's a lot of work and you're not enjoying it as much. So we've always enjoyed, and one of the reasons my wife has been more on board is that we've always lived in completely remodeled homes, but we've bought some dingy, <laughs> funky, foreclosed, smelly houses, but we did 90 plus percent of the work before we moved in at a budget. And then we would do two or three major projects, you know, over the next two years. But we always lived in remodeled homes, whether we bought them for $125,000 or whatever, we have lived in fresh, new, clean, smell good, looks good, we're proud to live their homes, even though they were cheap, undesirable homes when we bought them. So uh, we've done, we did a two year, like the, the one where you sell it as fast as humanly possible, we did a six year, and then we actually did a nine plus year um, so it, you know, it doesn't have to be two years. It just has to be at least two years. Uh, that's allowed us to move from, um, a little bitty funky foreclosure to a larger family home to, uh, you know, th this, this most current one is literally truly in the cheesiest sense of the words, our dream home. And so we've been helping clients do this for years and years and years. And really it's funny that we call it a book. It's kind of a booklet. It is, you can read it in an hour. You can read it in less than an hour. Um, but it is truly valuable information uh, and can help you leapfrog your life, your family's life forward financially and the setting that you live in um, for the rest of your life. If you were willing to do this two or three times, uh, not having to earn the money that's the tax code inside the book right there, Ian. But the, the point is, 
Um, this is a great way if you want to buy an $800,000 home and you don't have $800,000, you know, over the next five or six years, you could leapfrog forward and let the gains from doing this the right way, regardless of market conditions, help put you in a place where you can truly um, get to the home of your dreams, the property of your dreams, the location of your dreams, without having to just simply save your way there. Let these real estate transactions and the benefit of not paying taxes on those profits help unusually accelerate, speed up the time for you to get there. Yeah, so as long as it's after the two years, you can say, you know, write off $250,000 as, as an individual and 500000 if you Yeah, if and there were it. times where ours, we've never exceeded five hundred, but there were times where we would make a couple hundred thousand. There were times where we made 48 or 52, you know, things like that. Uh, but we chunked our way each time into another undervalued property. So every time we're winning on the purchase, the lifestyle and the sale. It's a really great process. The book's called Live Free. You can buy a copy for six or seven bucks, or you can come in and meet with one of our professionals at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, and we'll hold your hand, and metaphorically, and guide you through the entire process. Just go to toddtremontiteam.com, or you can call or text 214-310-0008, and we'll walk you through the whole thing. This next segment is brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his team at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to get a mortgage, if you are looking to do a refinance, maybe you're looking to get a second uh, second home, maybe you're looking for short-term rental or long-term yep. rental, something like that. PatriotGlerus.com is where you should go to start your application. You can start it right there on his website. You can call him at 972-728-3420. Again, it's Patrick Gleros, G-L-A-R-O-S, PatriotGlerus.com, NMLS number 308804. And all of the recommended pros and vendors we talk about here on the show, you can find at touchmoneyteam.com. Click at the radio tab, and they will be right there. So the question that I have for you, and I think it's something that's really important that people understand is before you go into this, you really need to consult with a professional, right? A, a professional, real somebody that is in real estate, full-time professionally to guide you and give you advice on what the things are that you should do to be able to maximize what you spend, what you sell it for two years down the road or three years down the road. Yeah, and you asked earlier what mistakes we've made and, and I'll tie the answers together. If you don't have a pro or you've got an amateur pro, wink, wink, you've got a bad agent, you're going to get bad information. I have seen people who basically just assume that all houses go up in value and so they buy the house they want instead of the house that's the right investment and they don't, this doesn't work out for them. They get stuck in a house they can't get out of when they wanted in a neighborhood they didn't want to be in that long uh, or the profit's just not there. Then they start making impulsive choices. They leave too early. They pay a bunch of taxes on the gains or there are no gains or the lifestyle in the home is undesirable or they're overly impulsive about gains and profit. So they end up living someplace that they're really not happy. There's some nuance to this. It's not all that complex from a strategy perspective, but there is nuance. And you do need a pro that can help you find, is this a good deal? Is this highly likely to increase in value? And then what work should be done to uh, maximize the increases in value? There are some sacrifices you make in this strategy. For example, you might want three quarter inch hardwood flooring, but you might be in a price point in an area where that's not necessary. A, a really high quality laminate is more than adequate or painted brick, even though you love that is, is not the right move for that neighborhood. Uh, or you want a certain type of roof, but it's not wise to do that. You're not going to get the return on that investment for this type of property. So you do need to have a clear and specific strategy on where to buy, what to buy, when to buy, how to buy financing cash even is a big factor. Um, and then what to do up front, what to do while you're there, and then timing the sale is important, uh, the way to market it, and a ton of other things. I mean, we could just keep going. So is there any way that folks can like accelerate this entire process or does it have to be two years? Like, is there other ways that people can do this type of thing? Well, you can do this type of thing, but you cannot benefit from this tax-free gains in under two years. I mean, you can be there two years in a day and get rid of that thing. Um, and by all means, you can go longer. But no, you are going to miss out on the profit, the tax-free profitability here 
in under a two year period. We have a lot of clients that will say, okay, hey, we're ready to move. And we'll say, hold on. When did we close and fund on this? You're still two months away from this two year point. As a matter of fact, we have a former team member that's wrapping one up right now where we said, I would wait. I, you know, you're only a couple of months away from all that profit being tax free. I would not sell right now. I would wait a couple more months so you can get to the two year point because the, 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 the benefit there is so worth it. So I've heard of things like, I mean, I know what it is, but 1031 exchanges mm -hmm. for people that are doing different types of flips, more of a short term flip. So what's, well, what's and the not, difference there? Look, not to, not to correct you, but I don't think of it that way at all. A 1031 exchange has a lot less to do with flipping and more to do with sort of trading. And what I mean by that is I might have owned an apartment complex or an office suite or a warehouse, doesn't matter, but a commercial pure investment. This was not a ever my home and I'm selling it and I'm making money. So I should pay taxes because that's how our country works. Yeah, I was but, thinking it from like the rental perspective. But it, well, my I guess what I'm trying to help people see it as is it's not, typically these are not residential. They can be, but more often than not, these are larger commercial type investments. Not always, but most of the time. And I'm selling it. And in that situation, not only do I have to roll my gains into another investment, but I have to do it within a very specific timeline. And often there are restrictions on which property types. Um, and that is because I am deferring the taxes because I'm reinvesting. That's a different type of tax incentive. My opinion is the two year flip strategy is a better option for most people that are not going out making large commercial investments. They're going to live in a house though. So you might as well own it and you might as well get tax free profit from it if you were thinking about moving anyway. So I think the two year flip strategy is way, way, way more approachable to most people. Um, One of the questions that we got um, what to do with the profit on a two year flip was do I have to roll the profits into my next house or can I choose to do whatever I want with it? You can buy Legos with it. You can buy bubble gum with it. You do not have to put it into real estate. That's the big difference in the 1031. And literally we're talking about the tax code. This is uh, section 121 is this one. We call it a two year flip because it explains what it is more. The 1031 is I'm exchanging two properties and because I'm not taking the profit out and using it, I can defer paying the taxes until later. This is the two year flip is I never have to pay the tax. I can put it into my next real estate deal, which, which my wife and I always have done, or I can go buy gold coins or stocks or go on a vacation or bury it in the backyard. There are not restrictions. And I, people have argued with this, this argued with me about this forever. They're wrong. doesn't make me brilliant. I've just studied this and I wrote a book about it, but you can look up the IRS code key issue 22 B uh, and that might've changed recently, but the, the, the law has not changed. Um, this is a 1034. If you're looking at the 1031, there's a map is like, you know, IRS section 121 regulation 1.121 dash two, but the 1034 is what people kind of refer to this from the code. We call it a two year flip and it's huge. Yeah. People should do this. Absolutely. And the other thing people need to do, if you haven't done it recently, is go and check your home valuation. I'm guaranteeing you it's going to be different probably to what you think it actually is. And in less than one minute on our website, you can go to touchonmyteam.com. You can click the home valuation tab. It's going to ask you a few questions and you will be able to get an idea of what your home would sell for. You're going to be able to get an idea of what your equity is. And the really cool thing about that is that it changes over time. It's constantly updating itself. We can actually go in on the back end and help make sure that the numbers are as accurate as they can be. You just need to reach out to us and let us know that you would like some help with that. And we're more than happy to do that. Now imagine this scenario. You bought a home a year and a half ago. Okay. And now you're aware of this two-year flip strategy. Yep. Would you want to keep your eye on their home value? I think it would be rather dumb to not. Yeah. So let me go sign up for a property valuation uh, on Todd's website, toddgermaniteam.com and keep my eye on it. And then I'll, I'll decide when's the best time to sell it based on what's happening with market value. Now, obviously you can communicate directly with one of our full-time professional agents and they can help you develop that strategy and you should do that. But this is a tool that could help you even if you're a year out 
getting a feel for, hey, what's happening to my value? What's happening to my equity? So you can plan ahead, whether it's school schedules or jobs or commuting or whatever. Okay, hey, we're going to get ready and sell it next fall, sell it next spring, sell it next summer. So it's time to start tidying up and putting those final touches on it, that kind of thing. That tool can really help you with that. Go to TatramoneyTeam.com and click on the home valuation button. So I don't know if you know that you said it, but you did say it. You, you were talking about some code numbers and you said, man, I don't know if those have changed or if maybe it's the same or not. I'm glad you said it because next year, there's a brand new revised version of the book that's gonna be coming out. So what can you tell folks about it? Maybe a couple of little spoilers, little yeah. differences that might be in there. Well, Robert on our team is a TCU grad with some writing skills and a journalism degree and all those things. And so I asked him about a year and a half ago, I said, Hey, we should update this book and revise it. Would you like to partner with me on that? And he said, I would love to. So he's done a ton of researching, updating, and he's been gathering stories of our clients that do this. And so we've got some updated case studies and examples of what did they buy for? What did they do? What did they sell for? How did they go about this? How long did it take? as well as some additional insights into what kind of work should you do to maximize your value? What are some things people tell you to do that actually don't help increase property value? So, you know, initially this was, we called it a booklet. You could read it in like 35 minutes because really it was not intended for Barnes and Noble. It was intended for our clients. Well, Robert's helped us beef it up in a good way where there's more examples, more tips and tricks, and it can be really valuable. There's some final polishing still happening. So I would think probably spring 2024, we'll have some copies of those to give away here on the show. So maybe we should do like a little contest or maybe something. Maybe we'll get a, little, get a little exciting with it. But we don't write these books to make money at the bookstore. When we put them on Amazon, they're always 10 bucks or it's seven not, bucks or whatever. It's not true. I know over the years you have made Dozens, dozens of, of dollars. We have. I was we, going pennies. We actually give all of our book royalties to Compassion International anyway. So um, it is not about us making money. From, you know, we want to help you buy and sell homes, and we make a living that way. Of course, no apologies about that whatsoever. But these are intended to be resources for our friends and our clients and our neighbors here in DFW. It's one of the cool things about working here. And it's one of the things that we bring up so often with uh, the agents around the country, country that we get to coach. Is like, hey focus on what can you deliver as value to yeah. the people that are maybe not even clients right out. now. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We talked earlier or, or, or last week on the show about if you don't ASK, you don't G E T same deal here, right? If you want to live an incredible life, build your business, find a job, you know, structure things around that. Um, so if you're looking for that kind of work and you're interested in real estate, we're growing here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Just go to the website, toddtremonteteam.com. You can find the careers page. And we'd love to have a chat with you about maybe joining our crew here. Speaking of crews that we love, hey, love we that. like the roofing crews over at PMR Roofing. They just put a roof on my new house. And uh, they're helping you with some hail stuff over at your place, I think. Um, maybe that was your car with, with DP. That's my car. But anyway. I will say I was at some friend's house the other night where there's three PMR uh, houses in a row that have been yeah. helped. We were meeting with some friends and they were like, hey, sorry we were late. We made dinner for the guys that are up on the roof doing the roof right now. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ask for Jordan Collins. You can email him, jordan at pmrroofing.com or just go to pmrroofing.com, fill out a form or call them and ask for Jordan Collins. If you don't know the condition of your roof, you're doing it wrong, PMR roofing.com. We'll be right back after the break talking more about what you need to know about this market right now in Dallas, Fort Worth. Don't believe the national media. There's better news ahead. Welcome back, party people. Welcome back. We are talking all things residential real estate across DFW. We do it every week right here at 3 to 4 p.m. We also do it throughout the week on the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly. You can find it wherever you find your podcasts. And I do encourage you to check it out because there's a lot of bonus info over there. There's some short five, 10 minute videos, occasionally some short two and three minute videos that will give you some really good, accurate, up to date, which is important, information about the DFW market, as well as some key areas and key market segments. And uh, we're finding that the podcast is really well liked and, and listened to from folks outside of the DFW market. Isn't that right, producer Courtney? That's right. So share it with your friends that may be thinking about making a move or a visit or bringing their companies here. Uh, super easy to subscribe and share that with folks. So do that. And then if you like it, of course, leave us a review. That's helpful. 
Um, DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti, wherever you listen to podcasts. Yep. And this first segment, as always, is brought to you by Patrick Glos and his team at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, maybe you're looking to get an investment property, patrickglos.com is where you're going to go and start every time. That's where you're going to be able to start your application right there on his website, Patrick Glaros, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. You can call him if you want, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. You can go to toddtramoneyteam.com, click the radio tab, and you will find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. Um, all right, Homes on Land, I know this is like a passion of yours, right? Believe it. It's the reason that you bought the property that you bought initially. Believe it. Hi, Sarah. You're on. You're live on the radio right now. Yeah, hey, That's Sarah. It. Sarah Wyatt, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Glad you could be here. Um, so you did this to be able to get your like dream house done. Not right? wrong. Not wrong. So give us an idea of like when you bought it. It was just a blank piece of land. Mm, it was of. worse than that, right? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm being generous. We, then. Yeah. So, so we so bought a house. So my big question is like, what was the steps you took? Like, who did you meet to try and create what was kind of in your head to being actually out there? Okay, producer Courtney's got me putting together a video series where we're going to unfold the saga of it all. But the short version is, uh, I've always I. The night I proposed to Dana, I told her, I don't want to live in a normal house in a normal neighborhood, which did not surprise her because she had been dating me for seven years and knew that normal's not my favorite thing. But um, in my mind, since I was a teenager, I wanted to have a house with a huge lot, right? I love the outdoors, hunting, fishing, things like that. Now, we don't live on a farm or a ranch, but we have, you know, a, a few acres. So the, the, the origin of that was this, you know, somewhat dreamy picturesque vision of kids running around riding four wheelers and having all this space around the house yes that is what we have and are creating and expanding but to your question of how did all that come together and how did it you know develop um you know fast forward a bunch of years and actually my wife's family has a little place in the country um, it's an old, like fourth generation kit house on a piece of land that is both pretty and funky. This is not like high end country living. This is like, you know, the edge of a sketchy part of what used to be the country in a little bitty town, you know, in South Texas, all that to say, I love it out there. And we went there for the weekend. We were driving back up to Dallas and I'm telling my wife, God, we've got to do that. We've got to make this happen. And she's like, you know, whatever. I'm fine with it. That's not necessarily like my dream scenario, but I don't have anything. You know, that's fine. I, it's, I'm okay with it. And I am like that night, I'm looking on the MLS and searching for properties like that. And that night I found the property that we currently live in now. Well, we're about to move back to, um, but it was gross and all due respect to the previous owner. He was a cop that was about to retire. That was single bachelor that, it just, it wasn't the family home that it once was for him. So it had been sort of let go. And it was originally a two bed, two bath, 1600 square foot home. It had been very poorly garage conversion. Like the walls didn't even go to the ceilings. It was funky. It was kind of gross. One of my daughters laid down on the floor while we were seeing it. My wife was like, get up off the floor. Don't touch that. Um, so we did a massive remodel. Um, anyway, all that to say, that's kind of how we started and that's how we ended up moving towards more of the that's a huge step towards the dream and now i'll never say we're all the way there but now we've torn that house down and are almost finished rebuilding what we believe to be as about as close as we can currently dream up our dream does that answer the question? Yeah, it's super excited. I'm excited for you. I think it's going to be really now, let me, cool. I'm going to use it a lot. Let me add a note. Oh, my house? Yes. Yeah, you're welcome. Bring the kids. I bring my best friends. Now, here's one note. This 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 makes people angry, and I'm willing to do that. I believe we paid $147,000 for that property. Um, but whatever you might pay for that property today will sound that ridiculous 10 years from now, if you don't do it now. Sure. Does that make sense? So 10 years ago, 147 was a very good deal, but it wasn't 
absolutely unheard of because it was it was a jacked up property i do think it is interesting that you had like you really had vision for this property because when i look at the bad. drone footage yeah. i'm like this is a weird little strip oh it is and, and without telling people precisely where i live which you know we've already given away too much but um, i don't think we have it all if i were to draw it up on a blank piece of paper <laughs> there would be some different aspects of it right but that's not how the world works right and that's not how you buy one for 147 either mm -hmm. so the fact is um, if this is a dream you have, whether it's on land or not, but to have some unique setting for you or your family or your friends or the environment you, where you live has got some cool feature or features, give us a call. We want to help you bring that dream into reality or as close to it as possible. And I, I bet you'd be surprised at how much creativity and uniqueness we can bring to the process that you may not be aware of or understand is possible for you. Call us 214-310-0008. And I am serious. Don't wait. If you have a dream that you want to create in relation to your home, call us 214-310-0008. If you're delusional and it's impossible, we'll probably be honest with you and say, Hey, we can't help you do that. Someone else might be able to. But if it's even remotely within reach, we will begin to help you put a plan in place to make that happen. Probably a lot faster than you think and definitely faster than if you don't let anybody know and start trying. You cannot start that process too early, but most people wait too late. 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com. I got a couple of big boats for you, Todd. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two. We really need a sound... Uh clip for i'm afraid of what y'all would come up now with I'm so i haven't asked that's a priority here we go i gotta move every two what? years but i'm always in a newer remodeled home or and or maybe there are tax there are tax benefits but i can stay as long as i want yeah so it, we're talking about the two-year flip uh i wrote a book uh what did we say 12 years ago i don't even remember <laughs> oh yeah 2010 13 years ago uh, called Live Free, The Art of the Two-Year Flip. The basic premise is if you were to buy a home, remodel it, live in a fully remodeled home, at least two years or later, you can now sell that home for up to $500,000 of tax-free profit as a married couple, 250000 as an individual. So if you do that, the, the, the big but was I have to move every two years. You know, I get all this tax-free profit, but I have to move. You do not have to move ever. At any point where you sell that home two years or beyond, up to that amount of profit is tax-free. Uh, we did a two-year one. We were like literally two years in a day. We scheduled the closing one day after. And then we did a six-year one, and then we did a nine-year one. So life changes. You know, before we had kids, we could do this all the time. As an empty nester, you might be able to do this whenever you want. As a single person, you could do this as many times as you want until you get into your dream property, or you could keep doing it just to have these financial leapfrog moments every two, three, four, five, six years, as often as you want. So the but here is, but you can stay as long as you want to or need to. You just can't sell it under two years and still get the tax-free profit. So huge opportunity, not even that hard to pull off. In the book, we give you lots of examples and the new version of the book will probably be out late spring, early summer next year. And if you tune in right here on the radio show or the podcast, there will be some ways for you to get your hands on a copy for sure. Okay, cool. Awesome. Love it. Um, give me an idea of um, yeah. the kind of people. You know how excited he wasn't? like our friend Sean Hannity. Uh -huh. Sean, I've been, I've been planning that out because I knew that was going to make Sean fun. will ask me like, hey, Todd, what's going on in Dallas? And I'll be like, we're selling homes for a thousand percent over asking price. And he's like, yeah, oh, that sounds nice. Okay. I was like, I know I'm going to come back and I know it's going to be caught me last. That's Great. what I was aiming for. Okay. Sounds, sounds good. Hey, okay. what kind of people? You cured cancer? Neat. That's fine. All right. Go ahead. What kind of people make great real estate agents? Oh my gosh, I know what you're trying to get me to do. He's trying to get me riled up. He's trying to get me fired up and angry. It's a lot of bad ones. No, oh not angry. God. I'm trying but, to get you fired he, up and excited. But here's what people do. They say, Courtney, you're so outgoing. You should get into real estate. I keep asking you to let me get into real estate. And what do I keep telling you? It's not good for you in this season. I say I'm protecting yeah, you. I'm protecting you. All right, so here's my pet peeve. Here's the soapbox Ian's trying to get me up on. 
just because you are gregarious or outgoing or friendly does not mean that you will be a great real estate agent. Now, it's not a bad thing. It's certainly a good trait. But we know of real estate agents that are very successful who are not instinctively wildly outgoing. But here's what I know of more than anything. Really outgoing people who do not have discipline, who are not willing to do hard things and have hard conversations and show up every day and be consistent and follow through and be detailed and truly advocate for and protect people in a complex, multifaceted, risk-involved, lots of liability transaction. That's what we see. We see people with outgoing personalities that are not good and not gifted and not committed to those other things, and they get themselves and their clients into lots of trouble. So let me say that again simpler. Having an outgoing personality is a great thing and can lead to real estate success. But holy cow, are there more and other things that are important? That is not enough. So whichever ding-dong knucklehead friend of yours said, just because you're outgoing, you would be great at real estate. They're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. And I sort of want to hit them in the back of the kneecap with a wiffle ball bat. Just a little, like two times, just enough to make it sting to wake them up that there's more to it than that. Did a lot of people tell you you'd be great at real estate? They did. And look at you now. And do you think it was just because I have an outgoing personality? No, that no, probably it's not. Helped. It might be because I worked really freaking hard. And guess what? I wasn't super successful at real estate the first three or four years. You know why? Because it took more than my personality. Yes, sir. Ian in the front row. Hey, um, so what kind of people make great real estate agents? Thank you for the follow up question. I appreciate that. People that have um, an engaging trust building personality, they don't have to be wildly outgoing. They certainly shouldn't be like, afraid of people or don't like people, but outgoing is good. You don't have to be like the most disciplined, you know, detailed note taker on the planet, but there is a sense of putting in the work day in and day out with consistently, with consistency, with commitment, with order. There's some very important details that a real estate agent needs to keep track of, keep documented, on the right documents, in the right place, delivered on time with notarized signatures and all these things. So a personality is important, but discipline is important. Order is important. Um, commitment is important. A, a, a sense of service, meaning I enjoy adding value for others, putting their needs ahead of my own. I enjoy the win when the win is for somebody else more than my numbers, my ranking, my status. It's also really, really important to be able to work well with others. So the highly independent, I'm a winner, but I win alone, not a great idea in real estate because you've got to work with title companies and lenders and mortgage uh, um, advisors and appraisers and inspectors and surveyors and plumbers and electricians um, and the city and sometimes the state and the real estate commission and the licensing board and all these other things because there is no such thing as a transaction that gets done with one person involved. By the way, you may be work, you may be great at working with a wife, but the husband has a very different temperament and style, and you've got to be able to lead and guide and advocate for both people. It's a complex, multifaceted world to work in. Oof, I was a little worried for your heart that I got a little... To be honest, I'm not high. finished, but I'll stop there for now. Well, Listen, if Todd just described you, call us, because we want you on our team. 214-310-0008. 214-310-008. Call or text us. But let me say this. If you only text and you never call, don't call. Because I don't want you to come work with us if you're afraid to talk to people on the telephone. Boom. I posted on social media this week. That is becoming... We could do a whole show on this. Wow. That is becoming one of the most valuable, differentiated skill sets out in the marketplace is the willingness and the confidence to pick up the phone and talk to grown adults about important things. And I'm not blaming this on young people or millennials or old people or technology, but the world has allowed us to text and email and message lots of things. But still, people who are spending hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, not always, but most of the time, still want to be able to have a direct voice-to-voice -voice adult conversation. So if that's the kind of person you are, 
and you're not afraid of the phone, as a matter of fact, you feel like you're pretty darn good on the phone, then call or text us, 214-310-0008, or go to tatramaniteam.com, click on that careers tab. If you can't find the tab, you might not be technologically savvy enough to do this either. <laughs> One of our core values that isn't really one of our core values, but oh, I like to gosh. think of it as our core value, is to train daily. It's not it. Everybody. And that's what we're going to do right Never now. Never stop learning. It's time to get better. It's time to train ourselves in the world of the Cockney rhyming slang. Word mm. of the week. Thank All right. Back again, It's time folks. to train Ian on which words actually rhyme and All which right. words don't. Here Are we go. Are we ready? Okay. Uh, probably not. Lucy Lockett. Lucy Lockett. Oh, I feel... I feel Suck it. Pocket. Pocket. Pocket, yep. It's going to be pocket. Boom! Yeah! Yeah. Good job, folks. God, uh, it's been a... I've had a bad streak. Losing last week, but I'm back. Congratulations, Courtney. Lucy Lockett, your pocket, your watch, pocket. You Lucy Lockett, your watch. Very, very impressive, folks. Yes. Okay, listen. Todd, we've been talking about the two-year flip, and... Something I hear you say all the time is beware of the voice of reason. God, beware the voice of reason. Can There's you, a more aggressive version of that quote with some borderline profanity in it, but it's like beware that stinking voice of reason. Oh, interesting. Because it sounds wise to be reasonable, right. but there are times that you should not be reasonable. Like at the end of the movie where the guy has to run through the airport and track the girl back down and ask her to marry. Like mm-hmm. it's not reasonable to run through security. It's actually probably illegal, but you do it for the sake of love, right? Like that's what those, there's times beware PG version, the voice of reason. Now, what were you going to say? <laughs> well, no, like, especially with your home, yes. like making it. Especially. With the place you spend the bulk of your life, mm-hmm. cultivating the most important relationships, talking through the best things and the hardest things and the most challenging things and your vision of your future for you, yourself, your children, your friends, your neighbors, all those things. Quit being so reasonable about it. Mm-hmm. Now, the fact that real estate has become so public, everyone's thinking about, you know, we talked a ton recently on a show about return on investment and resale value and all these things, but stop it. Reason is important. I mean, you have to be safe. And I'm a big believer in wise financial stewardship and safety and security of our family and all those things. But there are times to be like, you know what? Doing this completely unusual thing would be so rich and valuable and unique for our family. My kid's into the drum. My kid is not. But as an example, my kid is really passionate about playing the drums and it's good for them for this reason or that reason. We're going to dedicate a whole room in our house to drums and we're going to put up all the sound deadening stuff that's unreasonable, the cost of it, the, the dedicating a whole room to it. But you know what? This is great for my kiddo. That's the kind of parent I want to be. Do that then. Mm-hmm. You know, we're gonna we're actually gonna take a four bedroom house and take it down to a three bedroom house by combining these rooms so my wife can play piano or whatever, you know, because that's what she's passionate about. Great. Do that. Mm-hmm. On paper, that's unreasonable. Because a four bedroom house is more valuable than a three bedroom. You're gonna spend money to make it less marketable. Great, we're not talking about marketing right now. We're talking about you and your family and how your home enriches your lifestyle. I want a $5,000 cooktop. Okay, well there are $500 cooktops. Why would you do that? Because I love this and it makes me feel proud of my home and it makes me wanna cook more and I wanna cook more because I wanna feed my family healthy, nutritious, home cooked meals and sit down together at dinner, blah, 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 blah. You don't need a $5,000 stove to do that, but. Still waiting on mine to arrive. It's been a month. Would you get it? Remind me again. Huh? What kind? A new cooktop. Which one though? What kind? Oh, I don't remember. I don't oh, okay. Know. See, not Teaser. a brand. See, Coming soon. The brand didn't matter to you. So this, 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 this. No, we got like, we don't have gas. So we have electric and it'd be too much to get gas wired to there. So we got the electric one that was the most, we got the most powerful electric one that we could find. Call that, him on it, Courtney. That made sense. He said get to get gas wired to there. We don't, don't wire know. gas over here in the Los Estados Unidos. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows that it's not surprising that I would not understand that. I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, but that, that helps illustrate the point. You, you don't care about brand. Brand didn't matter to you. Quality and effectiveness and probably the electrical output of that so you could cook certain things. It was there. the one that was the closest we could get to the power of gas in yeah. electric. Got it. The point is beware the voice of reason sometimes not all the time we can't just be like wildly unreasonable but there are times where you're like this vacation not reason is not the theme memories is the theme 
you know, this uh, anniversary gift, you know, whatever the case is. And, and what we're telling you, what I'm telling, what I'm encouraging you to do, not telling you, encouraging you, is from time to time. Live it, unreasonably. It, in and around your home, beware the voice of reason. And do the thing that would be an unusual leverage point to live the life you want to live and have the lifestyle you want to have and feel the way you want to feel and experience and provide what you want to within your home. Um, and we can help you with that. So we can help you, you know, find the, yes, you should totally do that. That's not going to hurt you later. Or we can reverse that later. Or, you know, this would be the cost of that, but you should still do it. Or you, you choose, we can help you with that. Give us a call 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremontiteam.com. Do you know who else can help you with stuff? DP Lambert can help you with help stuff. Me with he can help stuff. you with your auto insurance, your home insurance. He can figure out if it's going to be better to combine them, to do them separately with different companies. He's going to figure out, him and his team will figure out the way to save you the most money, but get you the most coverage in the best policy. Reach out to him, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. 214-838-5684 is how you can reach him on the phone. You can go to toddtremontyteam.com. You can click the radio tab and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors that we talk about right here on the show, plus more on the site. You've heard me saying this for about two months now. If you don't have your outside landscaping and things dialed in for the fall, you're missing it. Fall's my favorite time to be outdoors with friends and family in Texas, especially North Texas. With the weather we've had, I cannot wait for fall. Get it dialed in. Keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, whether you're doing pools or walkways or sod or irrigation or uh, retaining walls or trees or plants or shrubs or new beds or whatever the case is, Keen Landscaping, K-E-A-N-E, Keenlandscaping.com. If you are thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, let's find out if we're a fit. We do have a waiting list right now. Call us, 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. Until then, find the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly, or the YouTube channel. Just Google Todd Tremonti. You'll find us there.